This is a sound characteristics comparison of three vacuum tubes that are commonly used in tube microphones, categorized as 6922 or E88CC. Recording was done using a Rode K2 mic straight into a Zoom H5 recorder set at 96K 24-bit. Each tube was tested on kalimba, mark tree, guitar, male voice, and wooden flute. We also recorded noise from each tube at the highest possible gain on the zoom and boosted that further to make it more audible in this video. Audio is unmodified except for balancing the levels between instruments and applying a little bit of limiter for the purposes of publishing the video. Descriptions and links can be found in the comments. Okay, this is tube number one and I'm gonna take a minute and show you this tube um, if you're kind of more of a romantic about this, like I am, you're going to enjoy this part. I just love these tubes. It's part of the analog experience, and it's part of the kind of romance of, <laughs> of using uh, analog gear and older gear. Um, if you want, to, you can skip this part and get straight to the audio samples, but I'm going to be showing you each tube. This is the RCA slash uh, Amprex 1960 Curved D-Getter. And it's got some other specs that I'll list in the description. But I want to take a minute and just look at this. Uh, this is made in the US, RCA. I love all these little details. I mean, this is so cool. The red, black, and white packaging, Radiotron, world's best known electron tubes. And then on this side, the fountainhead of modern tube development is RCA. Warranted against defects of workmanship, materials, and construction. Okay, so there it is. Um, obviously, this wasn't part of it, but the gentleman that I bought it from put that on for his cataloging purposes. And then this is also not part of the original. There's a little piece of uh, popcorn, packing popcorn. Also, obviously, I'm wearing gloves because you never want to get any oils or anything on the tube. And it's probably a good idea to clean these up with a little light uh, alcohol and water mixture. But here's the tube. And I got the gold pins. These are medium priced, around 100 and change. You can certainly spend more. You can spend less. Uh, I don't pretend to be an expert on this, which is why I'm experimenting. So we're going to do an audio sample with this tube and uh, another model and the stock tube as well. All right, so that's that tube. Okay, and here is the Mullard, uh, Mitchum Mullard Dumont tube. This is a 1966 tube and it's also highly rated, uh, medium priced, but this is the packaging. And uh, let's take a look. So 6922 or E88CC, same thing, basically. Different ways of describing the same item. A uh, little bit of packing peanut for safety. And here's what this tube looks like. And I'll leave the ratings uh, in the description. This again is about 1966, again with gold pins. So I'm just interested to compare them. I can compare this one with the other tubes and we'll see if we can tell the difference. <laughs> I'll also be giving you a little bit of an audio scope view. Can I get that in focus? This has some, I don't know how old this writing is, but looks like it might have been added a little bit later or not. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me in the comments. All right, let's give it a run.
The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The very quick brown fox jumped right over the lazy ass dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Just imagine. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped completely over. That lazy ass dog. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. He's so silly. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The quick brown fox jumped right over that dirty lazy old dog. The quick brown fox jumped over that lazy dog. How silly. Share your comments below as well as any other information you think will be helpful to the viewers of this video. Be sure to subscribe, like it if you like it. Thanks for watching.